when you started out this game many years ago, could you have possibly envisaged or foreseen what was ahead for you? It has been a truly remarkable career. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, my ultimate goal was always to be an Olympian. Uh, I had no idea that I would obviously participate in the Olympics four times. Uh, that's a lot of years when we count up the numbers. But um, I just feel great and honored to be able to do that. Uh, I'll be able to share that with my daughter and hopefully, you know, her children and just to say that, you know, grandma played <laughs> in four Olympics. So um, that's pretty amazing. How did your career start? How did you get involved in the game? Uh, I started in junior high school, which was seventh grade uh, when I first began, and it was just because I wanted to be popular. So I picked up a basketball and at that time we played outdoors. So I told the coach, as long as I don't fall down, I'll keep playing. And, you know, luckily for us all, I never fell down and um, I continue to play every year after. Talk about uh, your love of the game because clearly you don't stay in a profession or a sport unless you truly love what you do. Yeah, I think I, I really fell in love with basketball um, probably my eighth grade year, the year after um, I began and I just found that um, I'm just really competitive. Uh, I have a lot of passion and love for the game and it's something that I would do for free. So as I've obviously gotten older um, and I continue to play, I'm always trying to find, you know, what can I do? How can I be better? And that's what keeps me hungry. Who were some of the athletes and or coaches who paved the way for you on this Team USA team? Who did you look up to as you were? Oh, Team uh, USA? Yeah. Oh man, there's been so many. I guess the first thing that comes to my mind would be Dawn Staley, of course, uh, Teresa Edwards and Katrina McClain. Uh, just those three women were the type of players that made people around them better. They always made the best from you and they always gave you their best. So um, it was just an honor for me to be a younger player, playing with those players and learning how to play, learning a higher work ethic and learning to persevere during hard times. Why has the U.S. been so successful at the international level, particularly at the games where you've won the last three gold medals, driving for four in a row here in, uh, in Beijing? Why the success? Um, I think it's a combination of, um, like you said, the veterans that came before us really handing down um, what it means to be, uh, to wear this USA across your chest and our work ethic to work hard, never taking any team, any country for granted, always knowing that we get their best when they play the USA. And then just staying focused. Um, we really take our game seriously. We don't take it lightly and we work really hard every day um, to try and be better than our opponents. It also appears there's an assembly line of talent coming out of the United States. As Lisa <laughs> Leslie enters the twilight of her own career internationally, and Candace Parker comes through at the other end. Can you talk about the strength of basketball at the junior level and then specifically Candace herself? Yes, I think the beautiful part about us uh, in 96 and having the special with the WNBA has helped us to hone our skills but also be role models for a lot of young girls watching and Candace Parker, uh, Sylvia Fowles, they are those young girls who are watching who have now arrived so their game's even going to be better than what we did because they had a chance to watch, they had a chance to work on their you know individual skills as well as their team skills and so um, we're going to continue to breed better basketball players year after year because we have uh, a home for them to go to and that's the WNBA. And so the WNBA and they basketball kind of go hand in hand and now you've seen so much more of our, our talent coming in and we're it's going to continue to that process will just continue to grow and we will continue to get better and better. Can you talk about Candace? It seems to be an extremely special package causing a lot of buzz not just in States but all around the world. Is, uh, is special because she, number one, she loves to learn. She's always asking, "How can she get better? What, you know, what are you doing? What did you do when you did this move?" You know, she wants to to be great. Uh, I think the second thing is that she's just so talented, and she's learning how to match her work ethic with her talent. And when she does that, and those two combine, she will be able to be the best player in the world. What does the game mean to you, Lisa? When you look back, what does it mean to you to be part of this game? Oh wow. Um, it's just been my life, I think. Um, it's me and winning and representing um, our country uh, with a lot of class and dignity. Um, it's been um, a little bit of dominance, um, and we, we've enjoyed that. But at the same time, um, we've always been aware of our opponents and, and humbled by uh, their improvements as other countries have improved and really closed the gap on you know, our abilities to win.